Hi everybody, Liam Herbst here. Thanks for tuning in. This is a video of my revamped new Notion database that I've started in, in mid-2020. In December 2019, I won the Notion Goals um, 2020 challenge and I've made a ton of changes since then, so I thought I'd share it with the, with the community. My main thesis has been trying to strip back some of the complexity and just make things as, as simple as possible, have as few pages and databases and relations as possible to really grab the core value of the system and eliminating a lot of the stuff in the surface. Um, the true value of productivity systems is really only the value that they add to your life, less the amount of time that they take to build and, and upkeep, and less also the opportunity cost that, um, you know, is happening because you can't invest that time into something else. So that's that was my thesis going into this, and this is what I have has uh, continued to evolve over the past couple months. So it's broken down into two different parts. The first part is note taking based off a Zettelkasten system, and the second is a simple, straightforward project management system that I find to be really effective. So on the note taking side, I have my inbox. And this inbox, for those of you that are familiar with the Zettelkasten system, is essentially my fleeting notes, and literature notes are power ups, and professional notes are meta ZK, but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, so this inbox is really just where I throw everything. Any thoughts that I, that I have on my mind, any meeting minutes that I have, any reviews, recaps, uh, I throw this all into here. This has really replaced my um, Apple Notes that I would use quite frequently when I previously used Notion. And within this inbox, I also have some templates that I'll use. As I mentioned, um, I have a daily template for things like my getting into deep work, a simple checklist, a simple uh, morning routine, nightly routine, like very, very short. Uh, also a meeting minutes template, weekly review, and then some decision making, productivity, quitting frameworks, things like that, that I'll use like very infrequently, but are just valuable to, to have here and, and store here as well. So moving on to the literature notes that I have stored under power-ups. And you may notice this whole system, I, I tried to gamify it, make it a little bit fun, have like power-ups, missions, etc. cetera. Um, <laughs> please don't feel the need to do that, but I just thought it's more fun than thinking about having to do something and, um, you know, more boring words. Anyways, um, so for the power-up system, I have a ton of notes. You can see I have over 400 now, but let's just open one up and we can jump to it. So the variables that I have are the creator. So uh, in this case, the author and the person that's about, the type of content, any relevant tags. If I've read it, in this case I have, it's complete. The value, key takeaway, completed. Um, and then it links to the respective mission as well as Meta ZK, which we'll get into in a moment. And for the notes, what I'll do is, since this is an article, I'll have highlights as well as comments throughout the document. And I'll take these notes, it's all part of the Zettelkasten system, combine it with my fleeting notes to create the professional notes in MetaZK. I also use this Chrome extension that I'll link in the description that I find is really, really great for quickly sifting through documents to find um, the key things that I have highlighted. Uh, for this, for the Power Ups page, I have some different views for like ready to start, in progress, finished, books, courses, and then the top content as well. Okay, and now for the Zettelkasten. This is something new that I've been working on and I absolutely love this system so far. I find that it really forces me to have key takeaways in the content that I'm reading instead of just sifting through and, and constantly rereading things. So to pull up an example, I use this seek discomfort note. And the source is the different power-ups that are linked to it. Linked from is the notes that are linking to this note. So in this case, um, personal legend is linking to seek discomfort. And then linking to is the notes that this note is linking to. Um, and I've also listed them as at to that note in the text just to make it more simple and, and right there for me. Um, the typical note is about 150 words, so not too long. And I've implemented a spaced repetition system in here that I found to be pretty valuable, which is just simply um, hiding some key words and listing them as comments. So for example here, growth comes at the key point of resistance, if I'm correct. Yes, I am correct, sweet, I'm learning. 
<laughs> um, so I do that for all the notes. It doesn't take long. And in my daily Notion template, I'll actually link to the notes that I, I need to review and can quickly check it off and change the, the status. And I review these the next day, the next week, and the next month. Alrighty, so moving on to the project management side. Uh, so the first part of it is like extremely, extremely high level. I wanted to identify the key modes that I think are the most important in my life to work towards. And this is what I have, what I think is, is most important. And within those modes, I also have uh, missions. So these are the things that my own personal projects that I'm working on um, outside of work, things that I'm interested in. Um, and to pull up an example, let's do the quick and the dead. So this is a workout routine that I've been that I've been implementing, which is meant to be like very, very advanced minimalist, just like this video, um, where it's only like two to three workouts, 20, 30 minutes a week, really high intensity. Anyways, um, so the variables here, it links to the mode as well as links to the milestones or to do's and then the relevant power ups. Um, just ties in everything together really simply and then I also store progress and, and when it's due. And then I don't have a specific template for what I want to store, but I do have some uh, some guiding principles for things like creating my blogs and, and videos just to help me uh, push things through, but we can save that for another video. Okay, and lastly we have milestones, and milestones is just a simple uh, a pretty simple to-do list. I break things up into shallow work and deep work. Deep work are things that I want to isolate time blocks for to work on, and shallow work are things that I can just pick up randomly. I also have this as part of my daily um, routine template, and then I have them listed by priority, due date, status. When I check this off, it goes to the archive. Um, so the archive is there. Um, and it also links to the mission and, and has any relevant links on on hand so a couple more or one more quick page that I think is worth showing is this clips page and this is just a really really simple page using the notion web clipper that um, anytime I clip and go into um, let's do power-ups anytime I clip the page it'll automatically show up here and then I can um, tag it accordingly and it'll go to the respective Let's go back to power ups. It'll go to the respective um, view and power ups. So, if it is if it is a, a book to read or a course to take, it'll go in here. Since I list it as ready to start because I haven't read it yet, um, I'll put it there and progress finished. But um, yeah, so this this just an example of the view of the book power up. Alrighty, well, thanks so much for for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you. And I'm going to be posting some more videos soon, so please stay tuned. Have a great one.